Hi there and welcome back. In this module, we'll learn the tactics in utilizing your Google AdWords to their maximum potential. This module will also equip you on how to optimize your Google AdWords campaign when you're all set up. Okay, I'm sure by now you're ready to set up your own Google AdWords campaign. But before you start, there are three tactics that can be useful to you in strategizing your ads and ensuring your campaign's success. These three tactics are first, identifying your audience and your unique selling point, or USP. Second is coming up with the killer ads and finally tracking your conversions. Let's explore the first tactic, which is identifying your audience and your unique selling point, or USP. Identifying who your target audiences are is very important, as you would have an idea of who your potential prospects will be. Now ask yourself these important questions. What does your customer want? What does your ideal customer do? When do they do it? When are they actively searching for what they want and what device are they using? When you've asked these questions, make sure that you follow it up by spying on the market. By doing so, you'll discover your market as well as the customer's needs. Therefore, would you agree that you would not be wasting your resources, time, money, and energy in developing your AdWord campaign? Now think of it this way. If your customers are not searching for your product or service via Google AdWords, then obviously your campaign will surely be a waste. Too often, online entrepreneurs are so much in love with the products or services they're offering they forget that it's not their needs to satisfy, but their customers' needs. So hold your horses, and before you enthusiastically launch your first campaign, you need to verify whether there is in fact an audience for your show. Next, it's imperative that you identify your USP, your unique selling proposition. What is USP? Your USP is what sets you apart from you and your competitors. It gives you an edge where it gives you your prospects a convincing reason to choose you over everyone else. For instance, if you choose to advertise your ebook on how to lose weight in 30 days, what makes your ebook different from the ones readily available in the market already? What is your X factor? Do you offer different content as compared to the other ebooks out there? Or do you have complimentary or bonus content that other vendors have never thought of? Are you unique enough? As Dan Kennedy, direct response marketing expert, would put it, why should I, your prospect, choose to do business with you versus any other option, including doing nothing? A powerful USP that everyone will surely realize is, fresh hot pizza delivered in 30 minutes or less guaranteed. This USP originates from Domino's Pizza, which they apply to create a billion-dollar company. So it leaves us with an important question. How do you create your own USP? Well, first, identify your strengths and what you do have that others don't. As stated earlier, this will be your X factor. Second, interact with your customers by hearing them out. A great company is built on customers' feedback and insight. Ask your customers these following set of questions. Why are they doing business with you and not others? What do they like about your product or service? What can you improve on? <clears throat> Always remember your price tag is not the sole reason why people buy your product or service. If your competitor is pulling you down on pricing because they're more established, you have to be creative and tackle another sales feature that will compensate the customer's needs. You need to build your sales around that particular feature. The next tactic is coming up with killer ads for your campaign. When it comes to Google AdWords, most people disregard the fact that besides traffic that you intend to generate, there will be unwanted traffic too. You must take this into account as you're paying when people click on your ads. Therefore, your ads have two very important missions. To attract potential and qualified customers to click on your ads instead of your competitors, and to keep the non-related and unqualified customers at bay by not clicking your ads. This concludes that when you have more relevant clicks, you generate more sales. When you do not have unwanted traffic clicking on your ads, you would eventually save more money where it adds to your profit margin. There are four key components to your AdWords campaign. One, headline. 
2. Description Line 1 3. Description Line 2 4. Display URL Bear in mind that these components will either make you or break you. First, let's look at the headline. The headline should be your main focus, as it is what your prospects will be reading first of all. Moreover, AdWords will only allow a maximum of 25 characters per headline, so make every precious character count. One proven way to construct a compelling headline is by speaking to your customer's end goal. Do not ask them questions that they already have answers to themselves and what they already know. Let me give you an example. If your customer is searching for pesticides for their crop, you should not have your headline as searching for pesticides, which can be redundant. Instead, give them the answer that they're looking for and what they want to achieve. Therefore, your ad headline should be written in this manner. Get rid of pests once and for all. Save your crops. Give them the solution. For your description line 1 and 2, you're only given 35 characters, hence reiterate your offer as effectively as possible. Remember to include your USP as well as your call to action to prompt your customers. Last but not least, let's look at the display URL. This is oftentimes ignored by most users. The display URL is an important marketing feature if you know how to structure it. Most users will find the easy way out by just copying and pasting their domain name. Instead, what you can do is include your offer, your call to action, or even your USP that will make your URL unforgettable. Let's take the context of the pesticides we talked about earlier. www.domain.com slash proven pesticides www.domain.com slash pests control www.domain.com slash unharmful pesticides. When you've already mastered this art, it'll increase your click-through rate, CTR, which in turn will boost your quality score and lower your cost per click, or CPC. Think of it this way, great ads will minimize your cost while lousy ads will only add to it. The third and final tactic is tracking your conversions. This is made easy as it's a free tool provided by Google AdWords. It shows you exactly what happens after a customer clicks on your ads. This may include purchasing a product from your website, signed up for your newsletter, called to get to know more of what your business is about, as well as downloading your app. If you skip this step, you'll never have an idea on which keywords, ads, ad groups, and campaigns are generating money and which one is only pulling your resources down. In another sense, you would not be able to optimize your campaign once it's up and running. The question is, how do you optimize and assess your Google AdWords campaign to ensure that you are on the right track? The answer is to test run your campaign in three different methods. The three methods are keeping track of your keyword bids, optimizing your click-through rate, CTR, and three, your landing page conversion rate. First, keep track of your keyword bids. Once you've generated your clicks and sales, you'll still need to adjust your bids. If your keywords are generating profit, but you're still not ranked as the top campaigner, then you should continue to raise your bidding price. However, if your keywords are not generating any profit, you would eventually have to lower your budget in biding or pause the campaign to improve your game. Second is optimizing your click-through rate or CTR. Your CTR directly affects the performance of your quality score, which is the relevance of your campaign. This will then determine how much you pay per click. The higher the quality score, the lower you pay per click. Therefore, to optimize your CTR, test run different AdWords campaigns to see which version gets the most clicks. Finally, check your landing page conversion rate. This is done by comparing different versions of your landing page. But don't fret, there is a shortcut to this method. What you can do is make use of the Google Analytics experiment, where it's easy and free. The tool enables you to test any slight change or variation to your website, which enables you to measure which landing page generates the most conversions. You're now good to go. I hope you've already mastered the tricks of the trades in Google AdWords scene. You can focus on optimizing your campaigns by adjusting the necessary features to maximize your conversion rates 
and minimize your costs. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.